Hi, I'm Sharon Bill. Welcome to my Music Theory Tuition series where I work with you step by step through the ABRSM Discovering Music Theory grades. I'll work through every single exercise and explain everything you need to know. You can access information about the books I have available to help you on my website. Go to SharonBill.com. For advert free and longer lessons, you can become a patron at patreon.com forward slash Sharon Bill. If you can give me a like, that would be super. And please do subscribe to my channel to stay updated. You can support this channel by buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com forward slash Sharon Bill. Let's turn now to page 33 where we get more opportunity to look at these new minor scales of B flat and G sharp minor. We're going to look at both the harmonic and the melodic minor forms and we get the opportunity to kind of put our knowledge into practice now and we're asked to add one semibrieve to complete where there are gaps in the scale. Now they're written without key signatures so we're still going to have to think through the process of applying the key signature but this time adding it to the appropriate notes as an accidental and then we need to also think about whether we need to raise a note depending which version of the scale we are working on and whether it's ascending or descending. So there are quite a few steps to think about but it's not particularly difficult if you just take it steady. Just follow each step through and, and it's soon, you know, you get quicker with practice but it's not particularly difficult. You just need to follow through the procedures. And so the first job is to just add a blob as it were because we know the notes go up in steps so we've got space line space line space line space line because scale means step we're going up in steps so we've got to allocate every note on the stave between the tonic so that's the first job done without really needing to switch a brain on just yet now we're in B flat minor, which has a key signature, which we've learned recently. It's related to D flat major, sharing the key signature of B flats, E flats, A flats, D flats, G flats. And so that's the first point of course. So let's just think about that. B flats, E flats, that would be an a flat, just pencil it in lightly because you're going to have to rub some things out. So A flats, D flats and G flats. Now they've written that with no flat there but we'll see why in a moment. So that's the key signature applied and now we know that in the ascending version we have to raise the sixth and the seventh. So one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That explains why there's no flat there because we've raised the six, G flat becomes G natural. And so being nothing there is kind of implying a natural where there a key signature. And then the A flat does not need to be there because we're going to raise it. And so we've kind of added a natural to what would be the key signature but because there's nothing there there's nothing to actually make natural and so just plain old A will do. So if you follow the steps it's easily sorted. Let's have a look at the next one. So G sharp minor. So first job is to add the missing note so we just go ahead and place the blobs as it were. So we've got a space line space line space coming down in step now this is G sharp minor which we know just recently we've learned it's related to B major which has a key signature of F C G D A sharps so let's just go and pop the key signature to where that should be do it lightly because we may end up having to change something but it's easier to just pencil it in and then you're not holding too much information in your mind and that means you won't be making mistakes. So we're in the bass clef and again if you're not comfortable in this clef just write the letter names G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. 
G. So we have F sharps, C sharps, G sharps, D sharps, A sharps. Now this is the harmonic minor form and so the second part of that is we need to raise the seventh whether it's ascending or descending, remember we go, we're going backwards now, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So here the F sharp needs to be raised and so it becomes a double sharp. We don't rewrite it as note G because that would then be representing note G twice. We need a G represented, then an F, then an E, and that's why we need the double sharp. So we've written sharp but now we can take it one stage further and add the double sharp. I suggest you just lightly pencil it in because you can always over you know, rub it out and write it again rather than just trying to keep too much information in your mind and then forgetting something. Let's have another go. So we get another ascending version of a scale but this time we're doing G sharp minor and it's the melodic minor ascending. So we know that G sharp minor is related to B major which has a key signature of F, C, G, D, A sharps. So first job we get the blobs in place, pop the note heads in, space line, space line, space, line, space, line and if you're not very comfortable in this clef we know that we're starting on G, G sharp of course, but we'll deal with that in a moment. Double check, C, B, A, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And so we, we need to think about applying our key signature to any notes that need it. So the E is not affected. However, G is, and of course it's G sharp minor, we need to finish on G sharps, don't we? Now then, that's it according to the key signature, but then don't forget, ascending, we need to raise the sixth and the seventh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the E natural must be raised, and so that becomes an E sharp. The F sharp of the key signature has been raised to double sharp. They've done that for us. So I think that sort of makes sense. Now, if you feel that you can, do go ahead and try these remaining three on this page and then we'll check them through together. So I'm hoping you've had a go of this. Let's look at this together now. So hopefully you're becoming more comfortable with these new key signatures now. B flat minor is related to D flat major, which has a key signature of B flats, E flats, A flats, D flats, G flats. We're descending, so we're going to have to use ledger lines. Let's put the note heads in place. Line, space, line, just going in step, space. So line's going to need a ledger line, space. Then we're going to need two ledger lines, the notes on the line. There we go. So let's think about applying our key signature. Just write it lightly because you may have to change something. And again, if you're not comfortable in this, in this clef, just write the letter names in. Don't forget we're descending so you have to count the letter names upwards. So we have B flats, E flats, a flats should be there, we'll think why not in a moment. D flats, G flats. Now it's the harmonic minor form, and so we have to raise the seventh. This is the eighth, this is the seventh, so the A flat has been raised and become a natural, but because there's no key signature to cancel, just plain old A will do. Uh, but we do need the E flat, that's not affected. And of course, C isn't part of the key signature that we'd need to apply. So that's that completed. Now we get a melodic minor scale, but this time we're descending. Let's take the steps one step at a time. So 
Let's just get the notes in first, I guess. You can do that first, or you can get your key signature. One line, space, line, space, line, space, line, space. And again, because I'm not very confident with the alto clef, I'm just going to write these in just to make life easy. And we can see that's a C, so we know we write. Okay, so now we just need a little bit of thinking. So G sharp minor is related to B major, which has a key signature of F, C, G, D, A sharp. So let's just pop those in, pencil them in carefully, just lightly because we may have to change it. F sharps, C sharps, G sharps, D sharps, A sharps. Now the melodic minor scale, when it's descending, comes down in the key signature only. And so actually everything can stay exactly as it is. We've applied the accidentals relative to the key signature and that's all we need to do. And then finally, we get another descending version of the melodic minor scale. This time it's B flat melodic minor. First job is to get the note heads in place, so it's space, this will be on the line, the ledger line, space, line, space, line, space, line. B flat minor is related to D flat major, hopefully we're getting more comfortable with these new keys now. That's got a key signature of B flats, E flats, A flats, D flats, G flats. So let's go ahead and pop those in. So we have B flats, E flats, A flats, D flats and G flats. And because it's the descending version of the melodic minor scale, it's the key signature only. And so that's job done. I hope this is helpful to your studies. Please do like and subscribe to stay updated. If you'd like to support this channel, you can buy me a coffee. And for advert free lessons, you can become a patron. Do visit my website where you'll find many resources available to help you. Visit SharonBill.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.